All right, thank you for being here. Obviously, I think it's very important that we get information out for anybody who may have seen Gabby or her vehicle, which we've sent the photos today. Um, we're doing everything we can to bring her home safely or potentially hold anybody responsible uh, for hurting her accountable. So um, I know that the press release, I think it did have some additional details in there that we haven't talked about before. Uh, so I think most of it was self-explanatory. However, I'm, I'm certain that you guys have some questions and we'll do our best to answer them. So uh, I'll go ahead and let you do that. What defined it to, uh, why give her of interest today and not yesterday? Well, yesterday we were not the lead agency in this case. So, you know, as things have evolved, um, I think we're now at a comfortable level. I think there are things that we know in this investigation that we're trying not to release. I know you guys are all doing your best to get some of that info. Uh, but we really think for the integrity of this investigation that it's important that we not release everything we know when we know it. And what's Why the reason for naming him? him? Why is there a takeover if we named him? Uh, it just made more sense. Uh, you know, the family, the, first of all, the agency in, in Suffolk County has been uh, fantastic. You know, no issues there. This was just a situation where that happened to be where the family reported Gabby missing and the fact that the van is here and both of these uh, people that were that are surrounded in this case are uh, Northport residents so it just made more sense we definitely processed that vehicle yesterday uh, with the FBI um, certainly uh, there was some material in there that we'll be going through I don't know that we're at a situation of releasing all of those details I think everybody in this country apparently is concerned for Gabby's well-being. Um, we certainly have had an abundance of media attention from across this country, every major news network. I mean, it's not too often we have 15, 20 cameras and reporters sitting out in front of the Northport Police Department. So yes, I think the answer is, is we are concerned and uh, we're working as quick as we can uh, to get a resolution to that. Yeah, I think we can all make it, uh, a conc you know, come up with an idea of what that means. I don't know that we're at the point of solidifying anything. Um, we don't know what Brian knows. I mean, that's the bottom line. And uh, we're, we're hopeful to talk to him. He needs to talk to us. Uh, we need to know exactly uh, where he was, where she was, their last locations. And that, the fact that he was back here for 10 days uh, there was, you know, again, the family reported her missing 10 days later. What do you know exactly what the Let's is? spread it around. What's yes. The status on a search warrant of the home? Uh, there is currently no search warrant uh, on uh, the home of Brian's parents. Where, where was the car found? Was it at his house, her house? Correct. The car, the vehicle uh, was found at uh, Brian's parents' home where Brian and Gabby reside. Um, I don't know. It, you know, it's minute by minute. At the moment, no, I do not. Yes, Josh, why was he named a person of interest? What was the, why did you come to that conclusion? I think most people would come to that conclusion uh, in this case. He was the last known person that, that we have information was around her. Uh, you know, how you define person of interest is up to you, uh, but certainly we are interested in talking with him. What does not, what does not cooperate look like? One at a time. Who's going? You've gone. What does, what does the non cooperating look like? What, what is he, what uh, okay, so here's the situation that happened. We went to the door Saturday night. We asked to speak with Brian and his family, and we were essentially handed uh, the information for their attorney. That is the extent of our conversation with them. It's my understanding. We have had some conversations with his attorney, uh, but certainly nothing to the level of providing us the details that we would like. Well, how are you planning on getting those details? Well, look, we all have uh, rights in this country. We all have the Fifth Amendment right. Um, you know, we're hoping that people just do the right thing. What do we know about the details in Utah of this alleged response from the Moab Police Department? Yeah, uh, I don't have a whole lot of information on that. I know that there was an incident in Utah uh, prior to this. Um, you know, that, that could potentially be some information we'll have later today. Who called the cops in Utah? Again, I, I, don't, I don't know. Mm-hmm.
Um, I've heard that theory. Uh, I am unaware of us linking that uh, at this point to that. And what extent of information has the lawyer provided to you? Uh, I don't. I don't have those details. Josh, yesterday you said you guys were sifting through data and trying to find really a timeline. Have you guys been able to find our cell phone? Uh, that is something that we uh, are wanting to locate for sure. Um, you know, yeah. You know, we've got detectives working around the clock with the FBI, uh, using every technological resource uh, known to man. Uh, so uh, I don't know if that answers your question, but. That was because of you guys. Uh, the neighbors have certainly been inundated by the media. I think that they have had numerous people knock on their door and drive in their yard. So I respectfully ask you to. I understand you have a job to do, and we, we certainly respect that, um, but obviously uh, people there are being impacted. Josh, what would you say to anybody out there that may have seen Gabby and, and Brian? What would you say to them if they have information? Sure. Well, we now have this new uh, tip line that we're just want everything to funnel through. So 1-800-CALL-FBI, uh, that's what we're hoping for. That will really help us streamline things. I know in the past we've had some... FBI connection and a Suffolk County uh, Police Department connection, but now we're really hoping to use this one particular tip line. Uh, the FBI can help us vet. Uh, as you can imagine, we get a lot of goofy phone calls and, and stuff like that that really aren't helpful, that really send us down some rabbit holes that are just a waste of our time. So I really hope that if you, if you have something viable to reach out to us. Are any of your detectives out west helping or are they all here? I'm unaware of that. Um, I, I think we're just pleading with him at this point to please speak with us. We need to understand those details. You know, they put out a release yesterday saying they remain in the background. That is not good enough. We need the details. Do you plan to escalate those requests? As far as doing what? I mean, we all have the Fifth Amendment right in this country not to speak. Uh, will anything under the law that we are uh, capable and able to do to to try to get information, whether it be through Brian or anyone else, we will do. Josh, Brian allowed you to ride the digital forensic. Getting two at one time, yes, ma'am. Is, is that still, is Wyoming still the last known location, and is there a search going on there right now? Uh, we do not have a search that we've organized in Wyoming. It is my understanding that the family themselves uh, from New York has flown to Wyoming. I cannot confirm that, that they're doing their own search. I have heard that. Um, I believe that to be true, but I, I cannot confirm that. Well, one second. We got this, this man. Uh, the van was re is in her name. Um, so as far as insurance-wise, that has not been a, a conversation that I've had. Um, certainly the fact that it was in her possession. I mean, I don't know that any of us are currently worried about a, a stolen vehicle charge. We're trying to get to uh, the bottom of this. I, am un I, I do not have knowledge of that, ma'am. How does the NCPC feel about the investigation right now? Any closer than you were yesterday? I know it's only been 24 hours. Right. I think with every minute, uh, more details come in, more things are, are worked on. Um, you know, is I can tell you right now, we do not have, uh, you know, a, a definitive answer here. Uh, but they are working on it. I think every day, you know, some of this technology takes time. I think some... Uh, requests through, uh, you know, whether it be bank statements or, or uh, app usage or whatever, some of those issues take time. Um, thankfully, the FBI is, is helpful uh, for us in this and in, in probably speeding some of that up. At this point in the investigation, is your report still hopeful that there could be a positive outcome in this? I, absolutely. Uh, you know, we have to do that for uh, ourselves, for, but more importantly, for the family. Um, we want them to, to understand that if she's out there, we're doing everything in our power to bring her home. Um, but obviously, we have a role to, to uh, you know, plan for the worst. And Josh, do you have any leads related to the evidence of the van? Uh, do you have anything on Yeah, I mean, that, va that van was processed less than 12 hours ago as far as with the FBI, the inside. You know, we did a cursory search of it on the outside when we initially got that van on Saturday. but. 
uh, wanting to make sure, you know, you only get one shot at some of these things. So uh, we handled it um, you know, professionally and appropriately. Uh, so uh, certainly not to the level of we're ready to come out here and speak with you all on it. And is part of the investigation including pulling highway cameras and things like that? Absolutely. Yep, we'll use uh, everything. Tolls, highway cameras, gas station surveillance cameras, tips, cell phone usage, financials, whatever. And anything to report from those cameras, like when he was driving? Oh, I can tell you that we have received um, some uh, video footage from different times. Whether that is helpful, I don't know. Can you share what those times were? I cannot. And to be clear, it was Suffolk PD who was the lead investigator before? The Suffolk County uh, Police, Department. Police Department, yes. And again, I want to be clear, I know this isn't necessarily important for your story, but uh, this was not a matter of uh, taking over control. This was just uh, what made sense. Josh, uh, the Instagram account, Gabby's Instagram account has been restored. Uh, that, do you have any knowledge? Uh, I can tell you that we were initially made aware of that by the media this morning, um, and uh, we are looking into that. Um, that was, to my knowledge, that was not something that, that we have done. Okay. And um, his attorney, is he based on Long Island in New York? He is. He is. So no local counsel has been, to your knowledge? Correct. We've been provided one name and one phone number. Are any of your detectives in New York? Not to my knowledge. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. We really appreciate the work that you do to get this information out. It is important, and we understand the public uh, need for info on this, and, and we're, we're working for a good resolution, hopefully. Thank you. Thank you so much.